Welcome, everyone. This is Lucker Larson, and tonight I have a very special guest. Tell us who you are. I am the Burning Globe Hole Priest. I am highly educated in the theosophy of scientism, a master's and a doctorate. You can call me Father Balls. Welcome, Father Balls. Now, in the last two episodes, we have been deep diving into the topic of flat earth. You come highly recommended by MC Loon. I also spoke to Drace AI from 24-7 Flat Earth Discord. They have all this evidence. Does that not shake your faith? All I require for my faith to be sustained is my television. I can see the majestic majesty of Don Pettit. His wisdom is palpable from his globular head. Okay, so the TV in a head sustains your faith. Is that correct? Yes, and to deny that is to be ableist. But it's so much more than that. We have a thousand years of doctrine. So it's just doctrine? Yes. We call that presence mass because it's fat or massive, but also secretly gay, being attracted to other mass in the romance of concepts warping. You just need to close your eyes, Lucker. Do you see the globular earth? I think I am seeing something. As I close my eyes and listen to you, I do see a globe in my mind. Is that something? Yes, Lucker. That means the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, revealing itself to you. Just give in to it and let go of all thinking. Just accept it. Be gay with it. Wait, so is homosexuality connected with the globe belief? Don't be homophobic, Lucker. It's the love of balls and hard shafts thrusting. While we are not exclusively LGBTQIAU2SFZNP+, you won't find a globe zealot who is not enamored with balls in one way or another. Wink, wink. Okay, so I get that your side is very, quote, inclusive. Why is there then so much vitriol concerning these flat earthers? Can't they just believe something different? That is precisely the problem, Lucker. They keep talking about logic and evidence. If they just had a belief, it would be different. As it stands, we must crush them, or the foundation to our whole religion is flushed down the toilet. So it's a religious war to you guys then. Why don't you just fight fire with fire and use logic and evidence against them? Logic and evidence? That is impossible for a devout globalist. Logic is the tool of the devil and evidence his mistress. So we rebuke you, deny you, proving you wrong with our holy fallacies for all eternity, forever globular men. But I hear people from the globe side use words like science, evidence, and logic saying it proves the globe. What do you make of that? Ah, it's different when we say those words. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. So whatever we say is right in that micro moment, even if it's wrong in the macro moment or to everyone else. It's not about it being right or wrong per se. It's about who is saying it. And if it's a flat earther, you know it's wrong. If it's a globe earther, you know it's right. Okay, so we should gauge who is right or wrong based on what team they are in. Is that correct? Yes, Lucker. It's as simple as that. Just look at my credentials and then see if what I say confirms your beliefs. If it does, give me money and have faith in my words. It seems like you are just confirming everything the flat earthers are saying. Can you give me a taste of some evidence from this Holy Spirit? You are forgetting the wrong thing. Remember, they are always wrong, even when they seem to be right. You just need to forget they ever said anything. Then it will start to make sense. But what about this divine inspired evidence? I am looking forward to that. Oh, the evidence. Yeah. Um... Boats disappear at the edge of Mother Earth, the limit of your vision. Okay, so is the limit of your vision the leading edge of this globular Mother Earth character? And how do we know that? Um, Mother Earth is a globe. Globes have curves. Boat would disappear behind the curve. We see that. So clearly by logic, observational science and evidence, Mother Earth is a globe. Where am I? Oh, I'm back. I hope your encounter with the divine was satisfactory. Do you just zone out there? Do you remember what you just said? No, I channeled the Holy Spirit using the mass in my massive body. That means I cannot remember the conversation accurately. I only have vague impressions given by the Holy Spirit that I am doing really well and that you are a flat earther heretic, deceiver. I don't feel the love of balls emanating from you. I am not a flat earther. I am just trying to be neutral and get both sides of the story. However, I do remember the argument, and it seems to be circular reasoning. If the Earth is a ball, we would see boats disappear. We see that. Therefore, the Earth is a ball. Conclusion is in the premise. And it's also in affirming the consequent logical fallacy, I believe. That is wrong. It is globular reasoning. 
which means it is right because it can go in circles indefinitely with no end. It is called a holy fallacy, for it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. So therefore, there is no reason you can use to invalidate it. Okay, let's table that for now. You also said observational science. I thought the scientific method required systematic experimentation, where the researcher manipulated the independent variable to prove a cause and effect relationship, or that is what the flat earthers told me. Are you telling me a pigeon is doing science looking around? Yes. Flying rat scientists help increase our statistical number for scientists who believe in the globe so we can drown out all the ones who don't. Then we can say, look, 99.9% .9 believe what we believe. Believe us. That seems a bit deceptive. Does your creator not have a problem with lies like most other religions? Our gyrating globular gods love lies as long as they serve the faith. It's encouraged to just make up stuff and try to get people to believe the same as us. But why? Is there a reason for this? It is the only way to be saved. Mother Earth is a fickle bitch. She could murder us all at any moment. Father, Son as well is just waiting to kill us all. If people don't believe hard enough, the world will end. And there is no afterlife. You are just a broken monkey accident of the gods. Your life does not matter. So just YOLO your life away and trust us with all the power. We will save the globular Earth from our mansions and private islands. So the message of the globe is, be ignorant, nothing matters. Just let men who think they are better than everyone else rule the world. I don't see how that can turn out well. Ah, that is because you don't know the Holy Spirit. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you have no control, and everything is at the mercy of the Holy Spirit, so you can just trust that total dominance. And being endowed with it myself, I can tell when others have it or when they don't. So us normal people need to just accept your dominance because you are dominated? Yes, you are finally getting it, Lucker. Are you ready to sign up to my newsletter and join the congregation? Not quite yet. Like I said, I have not made up my mind about these things. I am just exploring the topic. So how did you come to realize this was all divine inspired? Many of these so-called saints and prophets of your religion come from many different religious backgrounds. Is that not a conflict? It's not a conflict just because they were conflicted. Besides, we have already infiltrated and corrupted the old religions. They all now try to incorporate our religion into theirs, destroying their own culture and religion in the process. And I know this all because it was a divine revelation. One night, naked, going to the toilet, I slip and hit my head on the toilet bowl. Suddenly, I am transported outside the big fat curves of Mother Earth she is chubbier below the equator. And the Gravitron spoke to me, told me I was the one, so here I am. What did this Gravitron say to you? What did he look like? He showed me the balls all the way out, all the way in. And when he spoke, it came from all the balls at once. That's how I knew. It was the Gravitron. And so it had no definite shape. It was everywhere and nowhere. It told me to be a liar, to gather gullible people to our cause. Then I woke up in my own piss. It was not a pretty sight, but from that piss rose a phoenix. Before that incident, what did you do? I was a janitor, affirmative action, and the holy globular spirit guided me to my doctorate. Now I shape the minds of the youth into morbid pretzels, as per the will of the spirit, as a teacher in a public school. And the parents don't mind you bringing all this religious stuff to the children? They don't know double speak and gaslighting are some of the tenets of our religion, Lucker. So we just tell them what they want to hear and indoctrinate their children in private. It's all good in the name of the globular creator. Wow, okay, note taken. I won't put my child in public school. Why do you guys target the children? Because they are the most easily manipulated when young. And once you have programmed the globe belief deep into their psyche and continued to build upon it using media, it becomes very hard to break free of that programming. And that is what we want. Public education is what helped get the globe's foot in the door. But media is what allowed it to live in your brain. This reminds me of what MC Loon told me about how it's all about the mind control. So you would agree to that? Yes, he's a good disciple. I knew his father. We were close in the same fraternity. So he's like a son to me. That bastard has not got me on his show yet, though, which is quite disappointing. I still don't understand this whole holy fallacy idea. 
So can flat earthers use fallacies to argue for flat earth? No, you can tell it's holy because it confirms your belief. If it does not, it's a fallacy and therefore inherently wrong. But would the fallacy not confirm their beliefs becoming holy by your definition? No, because if it speaks against the commonly accepted belief, it's automatically wrong. Like I told you before, flat earthers are always wrong, no matter what. Which is why we carefully attempt to curate through censorship and promotion of certain topics to prevent the public from being exposed to wrong think and wrong truths. How do you have the power to do that? It is not me, Lucker. It's the holy globular spirit that dominates a legion of powerful men who then each work through their own networks to corrupt the minds of weak men. That makes it easy. Then we all share fraternities and other sex clubs meeting on the island. It's a royal good time. So it's just a network of degenerate men who have accrued power over generations and control the world through people's perception of the world and perhaps even themselves. A chilling prospect. Why should I believe you? Because I said so, Lucker. And I'm getting old, YOLO. Well, thank you for coming. It's been another interesting conversation around the flat earth topic. Thank you for having me. Remember to pray to globular Jesus who will save us one day from outer space or the aliens will come and get you. Okay, okay, please quit your day job. Go back to being a janitor. Do the world a favor. I just hope one day we will get some more substance from the globe side. I want to hear a healthy debate between both sides. See all the evidence on the table. Hear all the counter arguments. Seems like the only place to do that is at 24-7 Flat Earth Discord. Well, this has been Lucker Larson for Z formerly known as Litter. Stay safe, stay based. Have a good night.